everybody welcome back to another video i have a grocery haul and meal plan for you all um so i just pulled into the kroger parking lot so i'm about to pick up the stuff i need there um i have already went to um aldi and i spent 40 some dollars but i got two things that were a really good deal so i don't feel bad going over because it's just stuff that we can put in the deep freeze to stock up um so like i said i'm going to run in here and i'm going to get my last things on my list and then i will take y'all home and we'll see what all i got so now i'm home and here is everything that i got this is the kroger side and then this is the aldi side got a lot of good deals at kroger um, but at Aldi, I spent $47.83. Actually, I just remembered I forgot something. I got lunch meat. Y'all are going to be like, what? I was thinking that too after I read that um, price. I was like, just this for $47? Okay, let me get the rest of this out and I'll get back on here. Okay, so now, <laughs> Aldi uh, was $47.83, so this looks a lot better now. I forgot the, all the cold stuff. Um, I'm going to start in the back. I got these four cheese rice bowls for Luke to take to work with him as a snack whenever he wants them. I picked up some wide egg noodles. I got a big bag of white rice. I got a bag of the Fuji, how do you say it? Uh, apples I almost said tomatoes y'all it's been a long day okay so apples and then i picked up a pack of our normal this is our favorite this is something that we always keep on hand um the the smaller tortillas um these are always 99 cents at aldi so we always have those on hand and i picked up some of these sun-dried tomato wraps i wanted to give i've had the other ones the spinach ones but i have not tried these and i wanted to give these a try um, for myself and Luke, I probably can make him a sandwich to take to work as well. And then we got some canned goods. I picked up um, a can of mushrooms. I picked up a can of basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes. I picked up two cans of the diced tomatoes with green chilies. I picked up one can, one can of green beans, one can of peas one can of black beans, one jar of salsa. This is really good salsa, we really like it. And then this was actually one of the things that I was looking for. Um, one of you all told me to try the Aldi version of the Catalina, the Catalina barbecue sauce. So I was happy to find it. I have never seen it before here in this um, Aldi. So I picked it up so we could give it a try. Cause, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, but if it was you, thank you. Cause I'm gonna give, we're gonna give it a try and we'll let y'all know what we think and then i got two boxes of potatoes these are the scalloped one these are the au gratin um we just i just picked these up for extra sides and then i got a thing of sour cream i got two packages of taco seasoning just to have in the pantry and i picked up some uncured beef hot dogs these were on sale for a dollar 99 i don't think i've honestly ever tried the aldi ones so we will give them a try and see what see what they what we think and then i picked up two packages of lunch meat i just got one of the the honey um ham and then the mesquite turkey breast and then my last big thing is hamburger meat i picked up two packages of hamburger meat and i just want y'all to see almost five and a half pounds and it was 12 57 and I got it five dollars off. So these both were roughly like seven bucks So I picked up two of them and This one is the same thing. It's right at five and a half pounds. So this will be perfect I'm def um, We'll divide it up. I'll probably do that will probably be four meals for us I'll just divide it in half and then divide it that way um, But I thought for that much meat for five pounds for little over seven dollars was really good because at um, Aldi you can get not Aldi um, at Kroger you can get those logs the three pound logs um, right now they're not on sale and they're like nine something for just three pounds so that was a good deal so I'm glad I found those they were just putting them out whenever I got there so I was like yay 
Um, and so now on to the Kroger side. I did go over quite a bit at Kroger. Um, it was $59.92 um, for all of this. Um, I did have a $20 gift card. So with that, I only spent, um, with that, it was only $39.92. $39.92 from our, um, our card. Um, so here's everything that I got. Um, these were on sale this week for $0.88 cents a piece. It was cheaper to get two of these than to get one of the, the gallons, so I just picked up those. Um, this was on sale for $1.99. When you do the buy five, you save five. I picked up some bananas. Um, these loaf, the loaf of bread um, was a Friday, Saturday deal, and these were 99 cents. I picked up one. I wish I had to picked up more, but I'm not a huge fan of frozen bread, um, like loaf bread, like the other stuff I can handle. But I don't know, I feel like it just gets so dry. So I just picked up the one, and then we'll be fine. I picked up some little uh, um, half ears of corn. Picked up some bacon. They changed the packaging on me, so I was like, where's the bacon at? But I found it. I got two things of these pasta sides, the cheddar and broccoli. Um, Winston and I are going to um, be doing some summer lunches on here for you guys. So I picked those up. Um, to That way he can get some broccoli in because y'all all know he won't eat nothing. <laughs> he won't eat veggies. He barely eats any fruit. So I thought that would be a good thing to kind of add in and he won't even know it's there. And then um, I had a coupon for a free dozen eggs, so I got this for free. I picked up some lasagna noodles. I picked up some ricotta cheese. I got us some vanilla yogurt again. We've really been enjoying this, all three of us. And then I needed some allergy pills. Well, we all do, so I picked up these. These were on sale for $3.99. Um, it says they're compared to the Claritin, so we'll give them a try and see. And then more cheese stuff. This Sargento's was actually cheaper than the Kroger brand. Same exact size, same exact amount, but this was $1.99 um, on sale, and the Kroger was like $2.19, I think. So I was like, what? So I went ahead and picked up the name brand. Um, I got the Four State Cheddar. I picked up some mozzarella, and then I picked up some Mexican. So I got those three. Um, Y'all know we love buying the cheese um, by the big packages. We go through it, but it lasts us a lot longer. And this was on sale for $10.99. Um, so I was happy to see that because it hasn't been on sale. And it's normally like anywhere from like $13, well, I think like $14 to, you know, $12. So this was a good, I went ahead and picked it up. But it will last us a while. And the Walmart brand, um... The Walmart brand of the American cheese slices, the processed, is really good as well. Um, we would recommend it. Um, I just wasn't going to Walmart, so I went ahead and picked this up. And then I got um, some of the Philly, Philadelphia, <laughs> Philadelphia, um, the strawberry cream cheese. We're going to use that also for um, one of the summer lunch videos. And then he will be happy. I picked him Luke, or not Luke. Winston loves these. Um, the, I got the Bolt House, the Green Goddess. Um, these are normally like $3. So I got them $3 or more. Got that one for $1.49. And then I picked up this one, the Strawberry, for $0.99. Cents. And it shows you um, on the back of it of what's inside. So like I just said, he doesn't eat a lot of fruits and veggies. So this gives us, um, you know, he enjoys it. So I'm definitely fine buying it when I can find it on sale. So it has oranges, apples, Strawberries, banana, grapes, and it's got vitamin C, and then potassium. So that was good. And then this one, this one has uh, apple, pineapple, mango, banana, and kiwi. And then the last one I picked up said it has, oh, there it is, broccoli and spinach. And barley grass um, so it's definitely got some greens in there as well so like I said if he'll drink them then I'm fine paying for them if you know that because that helps him get his veggies and fruits in 
Uh, I picked up a little thing of Fruity Pebbles. Y'all know we have a ton of cereal. I didn't need a whole box, but I did need a little bit for a recipe. So I just picked up that. That was 70 cents. And then I found some more meat deals. I got these chicken breast thin sliced for um, $4.29, and it was 2.88 pounds. And then I picked up these chicken tenders. They were originally $5.05, right at three pounds and three seventy-eight. So that was good. And then we just needed chicken breasts. They weren't on the best sale, but I got uh, almost two pounds for three eighty-two. dollars So I went ahead and picked that one up. And then the last deal was the bacon um, was on sale for $2.99. So I went ahead and picked up two of those and then I will freeze um, what I don't need. But this is the grocery haul. Everything that I got, I feel like I did pretty good. Yes, we went over budget, but y'all seen all that can be divided up. That will be several meals. That will be a meal. Those will be divided up into definitely a bunch of meals. And then I have the bacon to freeze. So I'm fine with it. Got some more stock up stuff because we were actually getting low on the chicken. So I'm happy I found it, but let me get you turned around after I get this put up and I will tell you the menu plan. As I'm putting this up, I don't remember showing this to you all. Um, it was on the table, but I think I just skipped over it. But this is the six mini cups of the chocolate hummus. This is from Aldi. Um, Y'all know I love me some chocolate hummus and so does Winston. So that is great to get him to eat that. Um, let's see. I already took one out, but we'll open it. So they're just like the perfect little size. It says they're two ounces a piece. So we will give this one a try. I'm pretty sure it's the same brand as the other chocolate one. Chocolate, chocolate one that I picked up from Aldi. Um, I'll have to look and double check, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. So, and these were the same price to get the the six minis um, and. Um, as it was to get like just a, a single larger one. So, so you got 12 ounces for the same price when you would have got eight ounces for um, the other. So that's a better deal. And uh, I'm about to eat me some with some pretzels. Yum, yum. Okay, I finally got the menu board back up. So we are ready to rock and roll on the weekly... Um, dinners so um this week there's going to be two days um that um i might cook but i might not but i'm just leaving no um like planned meals for those two days but y'all know i have a ton of stuff so i can always find something um if i need meals um so and remember that these days are not actually what we have but I also thought with, they might be though. So they might not, but they might be just based on what we've got going on this week. So um, it is Monday when you all are watching this. So tonight we are going to have um, beef stroganoff and I will do a veggie, um, either green beans or peas or um, something. I've got Brussels sprouts and everything else. Um, and then we've got oven fried chicken, which this is um, a subscriber recipe she sent that to me so we're going to give that a try and it sounds yummy i love fried chicken and the oven one it's a lot healthier so um we're going to give that a try and then with that we're going to have a pinto beans and cornbread sorry he's watching a movie and then we were going to have chili mac and this is another uh recipe that a lovely subscriber um, sent me so we are going to try that as well and we will have a veggie with that too and then we've got um, mini talk mini chicken tacos with the my minute rice and then some Mexican corn it has been a hot minute since I have made Mexican corn on here and it's so good and I feel like we need to eat it again <laughs> and then like I said um, Friday Friday and Saturday both are yard sale days um, but Luke Luke might have off um, Saturday evening so we're either going to like grill or do a double date or something like that so that I just left out for that and then we are going to have um, lasagna rolls with probably some broccoli um, this is actually an idea or I had asked 
um, on my channel and um, the post section where, um, you know, what send in recipes and what y'all like. So that's where I got these two. And y'all keep, keep giving me recipes. You can put them in the comments down um, on this video because I'm wanting to add at least two to three recipes each week of the ones you all want me to try for our family. So this week we've got two that, that, that were sent in. And then this subscriber said that she, her, fa her family favorite recipe was lasagna, but she did not give me a recipe. So I'm just going to make my recipe um, that I like, and I do mine in rolls, and you all will see that. But, um, so I just, what? Popcorn. I all of it. Um, so she sent that in, so I'm going to make those. Um. But, so yeah, I've got three subscriber um, recipes or an idea going this week. So y'all um, add some more in the comments and we will keep going with this. I enjoy communicating with y'all and try. y'all know I love trying new recipes. Um, so if y'all send them to me, then we will definitely give them a try. But this is the idea for this week. We've got a couple things going on. Winston will be leaving, going to my mom since it's summer. He's gone a lot more um, visiting family and everything. So he will be gone Wednesday evening until Sunday, I think. Um, so that's the plans, but this actually ends this grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment down below your all's um, favorite family recipe, and then maybe it will be picked, and then subscribe if you are new, and I'll see y'all in the next grocery haul. Bye guys.